I don't like actually to talk about it because you put it in the heads, but I'll be honest with you, it's, uh, you can see uh, trail east stuff. Um, you know, speci specifically that um, you know, if you look at the Australian Museum, they've only travelled once, so they're already there preparing. But uh, you know, like, it doesn't help him make any excuses because later on they're going to come down to South Africa. It's probably one flight, but uh, I would like to say no, but there is. But I think we're managing the players well. We've been really happy up till now, or lucky that we haven't had a lot of injuries. So uh, at this stage, you know, uh, guys are settled, and uh, our whole plan is that uh, we're going to go hard this week. And then next week we're really going to cut back because we need to do unbelievable tough games. So the whole plan is that we're <coughs> really going to train hard this week and then next week we're going to cut back. But uh, you can see it's a bit fatigued because of the guys flying with a lot of flights. But by saying that, I don't want to make too big a team because I don't want to, you know, you don't want to put excuses in the players' minds because then they always have a, have a bailout that I don't want to make it out since I'm not saying the guys are tired, I'm just saying there is a, there is a fatigue factor and uh, but you know a lot of these guys have experienced, they've been around last year with Argentina, it was a new thing for us to you know to travel there as well and come back and then travel again. Uh, it's also a new thing to play three of these games away from home on the trot and there's always a, there's always a you know the question do you go straight from Argentina to, to Australia and stay another week and then um, you know then actually at least you can prepare and then you're a month from home when you, when you play the last game and Super Rapids just show that you usually struggle with that game if you're a month from home and uh, the benefit of flying home, get the guys to face at home and then you know then fly out again and I think we've got it right but I can see the guys are really mentally refreshed and although the guys are tired and it's been tough flying around I think we're managing it. No, I think a new coach is always difficult even I'm still struggling after what, 16 test matches to, to get your style through. So it does take time, and usually, if you, you know, I know a little time I have. So uh, I think if you look at each country, they play more or less the same type of game plan. Doesn't matter who the coach is, they stick to what you know what works for them. So uh, there's been a few things, but mostly uh, they try to move the ball around. I think they're concentrating more on set phases as well because you're is big on set set plays. Um, Jim McKay, the backline coach, I know well. I employed him at Leicester. Yeah, he's done wonderful with the red, so we probably want to play more attacking style as well. But um, you know they're quality side, and I don't, I don't think it's really too much in the in the losses they had. They played a big the best teams. You know, you always still hiding to nothing if you, if you beat guys by 70 points, and then which is a record score, and then you go back. And they've been written off by the media, um, and um, you know they're really, really overmotivated. I think the big thing for me is obviously it's not always the right thing with the public, but every single win away for me is a, is a, is a great win. Uh, it's shown all over the world, and uh, we've won 400 trot now away from home. And especially this team, which is, in a sense, a young team going forward. So uh, I think we got a lot of confidence out of that game. Uh, I think the great thing is that uh, you know we've learned uh, against Ireland last year, at the end of the tour, we won a huge pressure, came back to win that. We won a huge pressure at Scotland at home, came back to win that, and we won a huge pressure in that game in Mendoza. And the second half uh, didn't give them any any um, points, and we you know won by five points. So. Slowly but surely, still a, a long way ahead. But slowly but surely, the team is, uh, you know, is learning and, and, and starting to adapt to what I want, and are starting to adapt to how to handle pressure. Because these away games, you're not going to win that by playing the best rugby. Away games always been an arm wrestle. Uh, you get stuck in. You have to have your set faces 100%. You have to, you have to have defence, and you have to absorb the pressure. And that's, and, and you have to have a 90% plus goal kicker. That's cost us last year. So um, I'm happy with the way we're starting to absorb pressure. And uh, I think now it's the biggest challenge ever because we haven't won there for quite some time. Um, you know, it's, it's a really a mindset as well. And um, you know, it's two tough places to play, probably the toughest. But I also think it's a great challenge. I think that what you know, we've never won at Soccer City, we've done that. We've never won in Mendoza, we've done that. So it's all a mindset. But uh, I believe the team is, is is mentally getting stronger, and there's a there's a mental toughness getting into the team. As well. Yeah, outside being arrogant, I think I've always been not too bad at building a side. Uh, I really believe this team is really improving, and um, so you always have a long-term goal, and that's you know not just the World Cup. I really want this team to go on. It doesn't matter who's the next coach to be really successful going forward, like the, like the previous, probably the 2017. But um, you also have short-term goals. So uh, I think the great thing now is suddenly there's a nucleus in the team that uh, that settled. If you look at the, you know, the last five matches, it's more or less the same 23 players. And uh, you want to you want to give guys. I've always said you want to have guys at the World Cup 
27, 28 years old. The guys like Eben probably 24 years old with at least 50 matches. There's another four guys that probably will play 50 matches this this uh, year. So if you first look at all World Cups, um, it's always been an experience side of a lot of leaders in there. So we're building on the leadership, we're building on the experience. And um, but by saying that, you know. In South Africa, if we don't win every single game, we don't get to the World Cup. So uh, there's also a short, short goal as well. And um, you want to win every single game because every single game is important for our country. And I want the guys to be, you know, you get used to winning. I think that's a nice thing to get into. You get used to winning. And, uh, you know, winning is a, is a habit. So is losing. So obviously you want to win every single game. But in between that, you also need to take on a two chance.